Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to another episode of the Comcast. This week's beer of the week is called PB and Jams, and this is brought to us by Abita Brewing Company. This is a box slash double box with aromas and flavors of strawberry and peanut butter. PB and Jams will immediately take you back to your favorite childhood snack, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The flavors meld perfectly, resulting in a medium body brew with a subtle sweetness. This beer of the week is definitely a four out of five milk points for us. Uh, or milker points? I don't know. Is that a new system? Yeah, four out of five Four out of five milk buckets. I, <laughs> I'm trying to develop a new rating system for our personal preference. Four out of five tits. I know untapped.com is, it's not a 100% verifiable. It, it's it, people's it, opinions, the reviews. It's, yeah, it's people's opinions. It's the Yelp of fucking beer. But it's... I feel like we should make our own rating system. So I'm giving this a 4.5, four, or 4 out of 5 uh, milk milk buckets. 4 out of 5 milk buckets. How about that? Uh, or what did Grant say? He said uh, pig, pig, nip pig, pig nipples. nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but if we do that, then it has to be 6. No, they have 8. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're doing four out of five milk buckets on that one, on this beer of the week, the PB and Jams. Uh, this has an 8% ABV, and it literally does taste uh, uh, kind of as much as much of uh, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that a beer can taste. Uh, this is definitely a really good one. I got this from when we went to, I got this beer at General Gin's when we went to the international store. I seen it automatically. I was like, uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uh, let's find out. Let's see if that's actually accurate. And it really was. Uh, I, I can rec I can definitely recommend this beer uh, for all of you guys to go out there and try. Uh, so go and check that out. PB and Jams by Beta Brewing Company. Now let's get into the episode. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Comcast. As always, I am your fucking host, your fucking pilot, your magic carpet ride leader, your general, your, you're just, I'm your messiah, if you want to say. Welcome. I'm Ryan, your host, and joining me, as always, is Cody. Looking good in the new glasses. Welcome to the Fat White Jesus Podcast, everybody. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. We hope you... I, 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 well, I haven't brought this up yet, but uh, we hope that everybody is enjoying or enjoys the new, the new intro slash outro musics. I don't know if you all got used to hearing the... The first version that we've kept the whole well, we had that rock version, and then we ended with the yeah, one we kept for a long time. So I hope you all are enjoying it. If you're not, I mean, hey, whatever. But if you if you do like it, we I won't mean, hear from you anyway. So it doesn't yeah, matter. if you do like it, feel free feel free to speak up. Um, but if you or if you want like the old one better, hey, that's that's fine too. But it's just, we thought about just you know kind of taking steps to further progress the podcast trying new things uh obviously as you can tell i tried with the milk bucket point thing yeah. point rating system didn't go very well i will either. definitely have to come up with a better one that yeah. was kind of on the fly let's think for more than five minutes before yes. we just say something uh agreed <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you all are having a great week uh we hope you all uh had a wonderful weekend uh, happy Monday, as always. Uh, Mondays for me are usually absolutely garbage. Um, so I will definitely be thinking about something else other than uh, whatever's going on with my day. Because they're literally Mondays for me are absolutely terrible. The weekend... I the, think Mondays are terrible terrible for everybody. Uh, sometimes, I uh, see, no, I used to enjoy Mondays. Mondays were a good start. Now, it's kind of a shit show. Like, it's just... Well, it, it, from a work basis, it's absolutely terrible. Mondays for me are okay. I mean, it's the start of the week. But other than that, I mean, other than the podcast coming out, I don't really have anything else to look forward to on Mondays. I get to hear my own voice. Uh, I don't listen to it because I'm not demented. <laughs> not, you don't have to be demented to listen to your yeah, own but podcast. Yeah, but I don't want to... I mean, you don't have, you're not demented, but I don't want to listen to myself talk about shit that I don't even remember talking about. 
So sometimes I don't remember what we talk about in these at either. all. Sometimes I don't, and sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, we did talk about that. And then I know because when we when we make the titles of the episodes, we do them after the podcast. And sometimes Ryan doesn't get to edit it right away. He'll do it like two or three days later. He's like, hey. Since we've been doing it once a week, I've, I've been able yeah. to do it the same day. It's, it just it makes it easier for me because I can remember what we talked about. I I do it like a couple hours afterwards. If I do it, some, like when we were doing twos, I, I would be like three days and I wouldn't remember. So I'd, I have to go back, listen to you know what was talked about, and then like get my details for the descriptions and all of that. But usually I can remember what happens, you know, now that we started doing it once a week because Right, but you, you know, would text you would text me it's like, hey, what should I name the episode? I was like, it was three fucking days ago. I have no idea. I'm like, right. call it something. And you're like, well we talked about this and this and this. I was like, I have no fucking idea. Like yeah. I have no clue. Sometimes it's super hard to come up with a title. Yeah. Sometimes and it's just like sometimes just, it's not. Let's just go back to calling it episode fucking seventy three or whatever, you know, just right. an episode number. But uh, apparently, apparently, our episodes started getting more downloads when we started coming up with those uh, those catchy names. Uh, every, I guess everybody, I guess people were bored by the fact that it was just like, "Hey, episode thirty seven just came out. Oh, great! What did they talk about? Well, nobody reads the bios, but I guess I don't think it's, I don't I don't read the bios. I do. I do on some stuff. The bios of podcasts sometimes. I, if it's like, not in the title, but like. If I listen to shit, it'll it'll say what they talked about. The title, time. like, entices people. Ours was, isn't the same as everybody else's, though. There's some podcasts no, that are like No, you know us. why? Because there's only one Comcast. Right, but, like, uh, topics-wise or two whatever. Ends. Yeah, but it's, like, the things that they talk about. Usually people have a subject and they have notes in front of them, which would be uh, so much fucking easier. I mean, it would be, like, if we had an outline of shit that we could talk about every single week, our life would be so much easier. We would it, the podcast would probably be a lot more interesting. We would have like shit to talk about, but I feel like this podcast is interesting. I know, but we don't have a like a subject. Do you know why? Because we are not we okay, one, we are not already famous. Let's just be So a true, we don't so we have we have real fucking jobs. I know, but let's just be a true crime podcast cuz those are like phew, taking off like rockets. <laughs> Comedy does too, though. That's the thing. We also here's. The I don't thing. want to change this. We don't have we don't have forty hours a week to work on this podcast. For no. one, two, we don't only do this and something else. You know, this isn't like our main focus. We're not. This doesn't pay the bills. No, this does not pay any bills. Now, if we one hundred percent quit our jobs, and we are invested, out of money yeah, during this. If we invested time in this, like it was. A, I mean, we do invest time in this, like yeah. it is a job. But it's like a side gig, yeah. not a major fucking like money maker. But if we did do that, then Cheyenne would get stuck uh, paying for everything for me, and I am not going to sacrifice that right. because that's it's terrible. I I would love to be uh, only a, like make my living off of doing this podcast uh, like two or three times a week. That'd be awesome. But the sacrifice to get there, I'm just not 100% comfortable with yet. Yeah. <laughs> if you want something, you have to sacrifice stuff. Like if you if you want something, you have to sacrifice something else that is that is important to you. But my job is not in the cards right now. Right. <laughs> it's definitely not in the cards right, right now. Like if we were good businessmen, we would have stopped doing this show 3 months in. Because we weren't making any money off of it, right? But we're not. We're not. We are entrepreneurs, right? This is <laughs> this is more of like this is more of like a side thing, like a hobby, hobbyist type of thing. Like people brew their own beer. We do this show, so that's just how it is. That's it. I mean, that's how it will be. Well, it's probably. like it's like Jake Rub Jake Rubel said. He said, if you want to do something, he's like, I I built up enough money to where we'd be okay for six months, and I would just work on this thing for six months. Right. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I'm committed enough because a podcast doesn't take six months to get popular. Mm -hmm. It takes years, years to get popular. So it's just like it, it, you would have to be okay for a long time. That's the thing. Like whenever podcasts first started, it would take like a decade. You had to do it for a decade and then it started getting the popular. Long, so the longest podcasts have been going, like Mark Maron was one of the first ones. The first one was Smodcast with uh, uh, Jake, uh, Jane, Silent and Bob. Well, it's Silent Bob, whatever Silent Bob's name is. I forget his name. What's Silent his name? Bob? Um, it wasn't Jay, but it was him. It was no, I, I, oh, Kevin James. Yeah, Kevin James. 
Yeah, so... Is it Kevin James? No, it's Kevin... Uh, Kevin... Kevin... Uh, Kevin James Paul Blart. Yeah, it's Kevin... Kevin... They have, like, the same, like, Philadelphia-type name. Because I think they're both from, like, the East Coast. He's from New Jersey. But yeah. they're both from the East Coast. Kevin... Kevin something. Why can't, why can't I think of his fucking name? I love that guy. It's not Kevin You even James. went and saw him at his comedy show here in town. Yeah, I know. They don't even fucking know his name. Uh, I don't fucking know. This is... Literally, this is our podcast. We're just like, hey, what's his name? And it's just like, hey, let's Google it. <laughs> well, I think... Um, oh, uh, where is it? Robert Solibob. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking, where is it? Huh? The Kevin I, Smith. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. The most average fucking name on earth. What did we say? Kevin James. Kevin James. Yeah. This is the, the literally, this, that's why we can't be popular, a popular podcast. Because we don't forget shit. I think there's something for, wrong we, with us. We forget shit and then we're just like, hey, what's this guy's name? <laughs> but I think there's something wrong with us because we can't. I just, I don't know if it's memory or if it's, there's something. Wait, don't loop in us. Loop in you. You're fucking terrible at it too. I'm not that bad. But I don't know if there's something wrong with, okay, let's just say, I don't know if there's something wrong with me about, I, I don't know if it's like a pressure situ- situation or what. But it's the, this. Where's the pressure? We've been doing this for two years. I know. Hey, two years in April, baby. Next month. April. Two years. It was like 14th. 14th or April 14th, like something like that. I think is when the first episode came out. Oh, yeah, baby. Two years. Yeah, we still suck. <laughs> we're not that bad. We're, we're not that bad. We're a lot better. We're okay. But what we were, we'll go back to what we were saying. Mark Banner was one of the first ones, and he's been doing it for like 11, 12, 13 years. He's longer now. Uh, I I don't know, man. I feel like I, I feel like it, it, it was... Smodcast, Smodcast came out in 99. Or 97 or something. Like 90, 97, 98, 99, something like that. Maybe even 2000. Uh, the first podcast? That's not correct. Truth or Consequences? That's not a podcast. That's not the same oh, thing. Oh, was podcast. Um, June 2005, Apple added podcasting no, to its that's, iTunes. That's iTunes, though. You, see, before you had to go on the internet and listen to it. It was like internet broadcasts, kind of like how Sirius XM is. It was an internet thing. You got on your computer or you had it... Well, I guess you just had it on your computer, basically. And you just launched it out to the internet. And then apps became available. Um, it says it says in the 1980s. I mean, I, I listened to the, the Kevin Smith when he was on Joe Rogan. And, and it was like... He was the first one, and then it was Mark Maron, and then like Joe Rogan, and a couple other, and like one or two other ones. There's one I can't remember his, his name, but he's got a, a pretty popular podcast. I think he's a comedian, and he does like news sh- and shit. I don't know, but it's been I think it was like 2000 and th- 2004 or 2003 is when it first started. Mm-hmm. So it's been a, it's uh, it's been almost like uh, probably 16, 17, 18 years. But that's the thing, like, they've been doing it for so fucking long. But back then, nobody listened to it because nobody knew what a podcast... There's still mm-hmm. hundreds of... There's still millions of people out there that don't even know what a podcast is. Like, you go up to somebody and be like, what's a podcast? I'm like, it's like online radio, mm-hmm. just talking, though. Well, the thing is, like, <laughs> that's like... And it, it, all def- it all depends when you discover it or when you find it. You're just like, oh, my God, did you know what this is? Like, yeah, I've known about it for years, but, like, right. Conan... Conan's been doing that shit since fucking early 90s. Right. I didn't know he'd been around that long. One thing that is... He was a fucking kid. One thing that is kind of... That kind of... That I don't particularly enjoy is when I listen to audiobooks, I do enjoy the... There's some audiobooks that are like offer like a podcast kind of feel. Mm-hmm. Like a back and forth conversation. Those are pretty cool. If it's an audiobook but, about a podcast. <laughs> no, it's literally like an audiobook. It's like... It's, so I was listening to one by... Uh, who was hosted by Blake Griffin. It should have just been a, a short podcast. But it was an audiobook. So it was called The Pursuit of Healthiness. And he literally just interviewed like 10 different people. And that was it. Like that was the end of the audiobook. I was on an audiobook. It was on Audible. Then the, that's how they do it. They put it behind a paywall. That's what I'm saying. Like it's that's what I'm saying. It, so if you're gonna do like a podcast setting, that's th- make it a podcast. There's limited podcasts like like um like the Dirty John podcast. That's only a certain amount of episodes, and then the team, the same team, produces a new one, right. and then it's about something else. But they're like 
they have to use like different RSS feeds because it's like, hey, here's mm-hmm. the Dirty John podcast, and then here's the fucking uh, uh, like fucking John Wayne Gacy podcast, and just you know, is it's it's if it's gonna be a podcast, make it a podcast. Don't make an audiobook. So it kind of gets on my nerves sometimes. See, that's just like is- I want to listen. I want to listen to one person read a fucking book to me. See, that, that's when you create <laughs> into my ears. That's when you create like an LLC, and then you got we got this, 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 and this, and they're all serial killer podcasts. And then hey, maybe we'll open them back up, but we still own all the rights to them. So whatever. We need to just if we get popular enough, we need, we're going to make a Comcast network. We're not com- call, we're not calling it that. Why? Because it's our podcast. So? The Comcast Network? No. We're yeah. definitely not calling it that. Why? I don't know. Like, the last, po- last podcast on the left? Last Podcast Network. Yeah, that kind of the fits. The Comcast Network. The Comcast Network fucking fits. And here's the best part. We get to pick the ones that we fucking keep. And all the fucking dirty ones are coming into we gotta, the... We gotta, they're ha- coming into the milk bucket. We gotta have them. Milk the bucket milk. network. No. The not Pig me. Milker Network. No. We Milker. can come up with names later. You're just like firing shit off like you did your point system. Milk Dad Pig Network. No. Sometimes the best ideas are improvised. Uh, yeah, sometimes they are. Sometimes but, the best ideas. So, sometimes entrepreneurs make a lot of money, and then sometimes they don't. But you know what? Sometimes sells. they invent the fire fest. I, if anything, I'm going to be in the advertising because sex sells. I know what sells. Sex. Okay? We're having like naked animals everywhere. Sex sells. I haven't had it in a decade. So? I know what I know. I know the, the internet. <laughs> you know the internet. Right. <laughs> Number one most watched video right now. Uh, probably something about dogs. <laughs> 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 or something about COVID. The, the animals at the yeah. zoo have fucking COVID. Yeah. How do animals at the zoo get COVID? I don't know. Because fat white people are coughing on them all the goddamn time. Probably. That's how they got fucking COVID. Oh, look at this puppy. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, look at the lion. And you're just like, <sighs> like your the kids, like faces are pushed up against that's the why they had the. That's why they had to close. There was a zoo. Where we didn't, we've talked, we've, I feel like we mentioned it before. There was a zoo in another country, I think. It's either in the U.S. or another country. They had to close the zoo because the animals could get COVID. Yeah. Because they didn't want people walking through the fucking zoo. They had it like it was fucking rabies or something. The animals got COVID. We gotta close the zoo. It's like, they're by, they're way the fuck over there. And they ain't, you ain't, the animal, the tiger's like, <gasps> big fat tiger. <laughs> it's like, animals can die. Animals can get COVID too. But it's like that, that, Chick was just like, the ghost got me pregnant. The tiger gave me COVID. Some fucking... Was that a... Some Karen's going to be like, tiger oh, yeah. gave me COVID. I remember that. The ghost got me pregnant. I remember that shit. It was like, it's the ghost of my dead fucking uncle. <laughs> or something. No, it was just some random ghost. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> his, name's, his name's Hank. He used to... He said he robbed a train once. I don't believe him, though. You couldn't be like, my dead... <laughs> My dead boyfriend had sex with me and gave me a baby. He's like, it had to be some random stranger. It's like, I didn't know him, but he <laughs> fucked me. That's like that one news article. Uh, we've never done it on the podcast, but I feel like I've talked about it. It's like that one news article. It was years ago. This girl, what, this girl in Texas, it was in Texas and it was in this small farm town in Texas. And it was like, uh, their prize winning champion fucking boar got this girl pregnant yeah. with like a pig baby, but it wasn't a pig, a normal fucking baby. I was just like, nah. Yeah, your daughter be fucking. Old Bertha be fucking. She be fucking in the barn next to the pig. He's just like, he just, I, I was wearing a dress and I wasn't wearing panties that day. And I went to go feed him. And he just, he just started sniffing all over my genitalia. And he, yeah. <laughs> and then he just, he, he knocked me over and then just mounted me and started humping me. And then magically a fucking pig baby got implanted I've, in my stomach. I'm pretty sure we would just read like soft core, like bestiality. <laughs> that's what we were reading. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Probably. But it was like a CNN article. That was like a Daily Mail thing, but I don't see how like, like I don't see how bestiality is a thing. That's so fucking weird. What you mean, like how it's a thing, or why people like it? I don't see how they like this animals. Like, okay, animals, yeah, are your best friend. Like, um, can can be your best friend, but nobody's like, I'm gonna stick my dick in this goldfish. <laughs> Well, no, it wouldn't fit. You don't exactly. Wanna, you don't want to. You know. You don't want to injure the half of the cast. You physically, just want. You don't want to injure half of the cast of the video. But you just want to like smother something to death with your fucking dick. You're <laughs> just like this. I'm so attracted to this bird. Let's have babies. Well, with it. that's like that. Uh, that's that's like. Um, it's a weird fucking chemical thing in our brains. It's just like I love something so much that I want to fuck it. 
Or I love. No. Oh. <laughs> no. That's the thing. I love this baby. <laughs> no, no, we're not talking. We're not going that far. You, you said I, no. I love something so much. I just want to fuck it. No, no seriously, you want to kill it. It's you, like how no. It, listen, I love this so much. I want to kill it. No, not fuck it. <laughs> You idiot! No, that's how like that's how like fucking siblings like think the cousins and siblings think the other one's attractive. Like they think it's attractive. It's like oh, I love her. She's my sibling, but she's so hot, or he's so fucking hot. What the fuck? I could see the outline of his of his of his dick through those swift trunks yeah. when we were fucking you know when we were at summer vacation when we were eighteen years old. I feel like you've had an experience. No, I haven't. Like it's like Camp Christmas. There's a like, reason why the most fucking wild Watch porn is like step step sibling, step mom, fucking dad, fucking uncle, weird shit. Because it's like it's like a facts and fascination of like what's wrong. Right. It's like what's wrong. It's like you know what's you know what's not acceptable. <laughs> Stick your dick in a fucking parrot. That's no. what's not acceptable. No. You know what's not acceptable. Having a donkey hump you from behind. That's not right. You know what's not acceptable? Banging your stepmom. That's that's not acceptable. And okay. everybody's like, I'm gonna get in trouble, so that makes me want to do it more. It's dangerous. That's why that's why people are that's why people like bring back the fucking excitement in their marriage. They just start fucking in their car and outside of a fucking dairy queen. Yeah. <laughs> they get in trouble for like public indecency. It's like we're just trying to bring spark back into the marriage. Then fucking lick an energizer battery or something. <laughs> Go in the woods where nobody can see your disgusting bodies. <laughs> Like a normal fucking person. No. I don't see the point in like, you gotta bring Spark back to the marriage by banging in a car outside of a fucking Burger King. I don't know. People are weird. But that is true. It's like, this is like an untouchable thing. Yeah. Like this is. It's the reason is, why people like rob banks. It's right. like, oh, the fucking adrenaline just gets to you, you know? It's just like, bro, you just like robbed the bank. Or you like masturbate in your car in the in the, a Walmart parking lot or something like that. Weird shit. It's like, oh my God, did you see Susie's new boyfriend? He's a mop handle. <laughs> A mop handle. A mop handle. That's what that, it's 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 literally like it's our human it's our hu a weird human brains. It's like they want we want to do what's like questionably fucking immoral, and then you start like sticking stuff in you like fucking the handles well, on a hammer and Jesus like Jesus Christ vegetables. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down, like sir. That. Calm down. Leave the vegetables alone. Hey, it's <laughs> out there. It's I know, but it's it's. It's weird. Fashions. I saw somebody who posted on Instagram. It was on like a a, a group. <coughs> Excuse me. It was on a, on like a group account page. Oh, hold on now. Hold on. I just thought of something before you continue on. There's a reason why there's no other podcast like ours. It's because you go from like there's there's a weird. I go from there's a weird thing in people's brains where they just like weird shit, and then you go into sticking hammers. I just give hammers examples. and stuff. That, see, see, that's the problem. I have you to give be, examples. I have to be descriptive. Everybody's just like, what you is, don't have to be descriptive. You no, know, but people are like, what does Cody mean by like this? And I'm just like, they like I, nobody fucking says that. Like they sit on the pylon. Nobody said Walmart. no. Nobody said yeah. that. Nobody is thinking right now when I'm just like people like weird shit, and then you go into fucking broom and ham and handles of hammers and screwdrivers and shit. Nobody That's is not even the weirdest stuff. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's, nobody's like. I wonder what Cody means by people have weird fetishes. You leave it open to interpretation. No, you don't. Yes, you do. You give it. It's like it's like English pornography. You leave it to interpretation. You 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 have a scene where they're laying in bed. It's just like, what do you want to do tonight? And then it pans into dinner afterwards. It's just like, what happened between now and then? Did did they did they do it? Did they decide to watch a movie and then have dinner? Like you leave it open to inter interpretation. It's more exciting that way. I mean, it's not you. Of... Not you. Just go. Karen stuck his, her fist into into Johnny's fucking mouth and then said squeal like a pig and he couldn't squeal because he ran out of oxygen and then Johnny died. So Karen had to bury him and this is Johnny's twin brother and now they're having dinner together. See, now you're just making up shit. <laughs> exactly. No. You leave it open to interpretation. My shit's real though. <laughs> okay. Um. But so that's like. But that's like whenever you watch like French porn, you're just like you know there's gonna be hair, but you want to watch it anyway. See, stop! <laughs> you're, stop doing that. You're you're being it's kind of gross to be honest. Like it's kind of yeah, gross. it's super disgusting. But yeah, it's super disgusting. We don't have to talk. You you leave it open to interpretation. That's sometimes that's sometimes worse. Hair is natural, sir. Leave it open to interpretation. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Okay. That's all I'm saying. When I say you're crossing the line, that means you're being too descriptive. I mean, I if did... you leave it like like scary movies, it's just like, oh, 
The fucking door just creaked open. I wonder what's gonna happen. Run, bitch! <laughs> you leave it open to interpretation. You don't. You don't. You don't say. You don't. You leave it open to interpretation. You let it creak open. You're like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. But you know what's gonna happen. Is They're gonna a, walk through the door. A, it could be a creaky door. That's it. B, it could be fucking a serial killer. C, it could be your cat. So I'm just. And like, D, it could be. The coveted whisper daddy. Yeah, but when you just see a door creak up, creak up, and you're just like, run, bitch. Run. <laughs> he coming to get you! But you know they're going to go through that fucking door. Yeah. So I'm saying. And then you're coming out here with a fucking uh, a screwdriver dildo. Like, uh, a screwdriver. No, no it's it like, was, you're, you're coming out here with a fucking vibrator that looks like some, something Dr. Seuss thought of. It was Jesus. Of. Huh? It was Jesus. Jesus? Yeah, it was a vibrator that, that, that was Jesus. You know, like the... Uh, what are you talking about? That what I was talking about, uh, it was an Instagram page. Somebody posted, like, I picked this up today somewhere, and it was a vibrator, and it was pink, and it was like, you know, the in Brazil, they have that Jesus that's yeah. like this, but he was like this, and he had a heart, holding a heart at his chest. What the fuck? It was a big pink Jesus. <laughs> that's pretty bad. <laughs> I know, but I thought it was pretty cool. So they're getting inventive. It was like, the, but they have like tentacle ones. The sick part is like, uh, while, while she's like... Tending to her her needs, right. she's like Jesus loves me. Yes, he does. <laughs> Jesus is always inside me. He has blessed me. <laughs> He's got the whole whole world yeah. in his hand. <laughs> I've been I, I I saw speaking of Jesus. I saw I saw a Netflix uh, documentary called Messiah. I haven't watched it yet, but it's about like one of those prophets, um, and the people think he's Jesus and shit. He looks like Jesus. But uh, it's almost like, I feel like it's going to be pretty fucking terrible, like that Russian Jesus that we talked about a while back. There's way worse than him. That's what I'm saying. There's way worse than him. But I feel like it's going to be one of those, like, mediocre, not like, it's not something like as, as weird as Waco, because he was like the Texas Jesus. And to those weird people, the Brands of Indians, like, he was like their fucking messiah. But, like, I feel like it's going to be a weird one, like the Russian one. Like, that one was kind of weird. I, I I wouldn't say it's pretty standard. They're, they're all weird. Yeah, they're all fucking weird. I actually just watched... Uh, I just finished... I, I've been on... This week, I've been on a uh, a serial killer like documentary uh, thing. So I watched Night Stalker. Wasn't able to sleep for three days. Oh, you uh, so. Comfortably. Uh, and that was, it's, fu- it's fucking freaky. The only time I was able to sleep is the last episode when I'm he was in sure jail. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He is dead, but that's what I'm saying. I was able to sleep finally, normally, when they got to the episode where he was executed. I was like, okay, perfect. See, I, I can like, sleep now. But it's like every time <laughs> they get caught and they're in jail, you get all these like slews of women that are just like, oh, I love him. No, blah, he, blah, yeah, blah, he definitely shit. did. Because it's like an untouchable thing. It's like, we shouldn't do this, but we're like, ugh, gushing. So let's just like get married to a, a guy who murdered and raped women. But that's the thing. But that's the thing. Also, that that's like uh, that's like in the movie Red Dragon. Like that dude's uh, like in real life, he's a fucking weirdo. In real life, in, in real life, Richard Ramirez was a fucking freak. How's like it like Red weird, Dragon? Huh? How's it like Red Dragon? Because that dude's a fucking murderer. Okay, but like, are you st- like comparing it to the women aspect? Because that bitch was blind. <laughs> <laughs> She still wanted that pain, man. Still wanted it. She was blind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not <laughs> nothing against blind people. I Wait, mean, the, in real life though, I know this is a movie, but okay, but I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so Richard Ramirez, fucking weirdo, super weird. Everybody wanted him after the fact. Insane, like uh, like uh, Charles Manson. In real life, if you saw that tiny munchkin little fucker, you never want to bang him no. ever. So what he, like, wrote a Beach Boys song, whatever. It's not even the most popular song. Charles Manson is a good example of, like, having a fat dick can get you anything. <laughs> uh, Richard Ramirez probably had a giant hog. He probably had a giant He's got that weird... Because he's, he's a weird fucking goofy dude. Yeah. But that's the thing. All the weird ones have giant dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, though. But that's the thing. Uh, John Wayne Gacy... He was married and had kids. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, honey, what's that weird smell? It's like John's house always smells weird. But he does a lot for the community, so it's okay. Right. It's like, oh, you know, it's just, you know, we have a leaky sewage pipe. Nothing to worry about. He owns a construction. Meanwhile, there's 30 fucking teenagers buried underneath this fucking basement. But anybody that owns, like, a construction company and is a clown, like, no. If you're a, if you're a, um... Yeah, John Wayne Gacy. If you're Santa Claus, he yeah. was Santa Claus too, I think. But if you're like just Santa Claus and you're like a you own a construction company, cool. But if you're like 
Santa Claus and a clown and you own a construction company. You can only the have weird. Kids. See, the weird part is, yeah, you can only you have can only one. be involved with kids so much. But see, nowadays, but see, back then it was like he's a clown. He puts on birthday parties for the kids, and then over here he's like, but his house always smells weird. Yeah. Just like that's just John. That's just John. Uh, that's just God, Mr. John Gacy. He does a lot for the community and he hangs out with the mayor and shit. But he just stinks really weird. And he always stares at my son. I don't know why. <laughs> he always pays attention to Billy. He always like he's always like, oh Billy, what kind of balloon animal do you want? He's like, I want a I want a poodle. He's like, no, let me make you a dick. Here, here's a here's a balloon animal of a dick. And <laughs> <laughs> this is like back in the back in the seventies and eighties. It's just like, oh, that's just him. It's like Ted Bundy's just like, look at this guy. He he, you know, he worked for the. He was on the fucking. It's definitely gotten better because yeah, because it's definitely it was like, better. Like kids, but like that, you could be like sixteen, run away from home, and be like, oh, and then like they somebody could kidnap you and send your parents a note. Write your parents a letter saying, "Oh, we went to work on the pipeline in fucking right. Texas or something." Well, that's just, that's like, t- like h- h- hitchhiking was fine. Well, it's just like Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy mur- murdered this girl at the beach, at the fucking beach, in the back of the parking lot with a fake and broken he, arm. Yeah, and he's just like, "Hey, can you help me? My car won't start." Out of everybody at the beach, walks up to this one girl by herself, and she goes, "Hey, can you help me? My car won't start." Oh, where's your car? In the woods. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, sure. But the thing was, he was, <laughs> it was sketchy because he's like, he had his arm in a fake fucking cast. Yeah. And then he'd walk up to you, be, then he'd just like slowly walk up and hear like, you'd hear the, it was like, like maybe like a Jaws or like. And it's like, why is this dude singing? Why is this dude singing when he's walking up? It's like, why does he have his own background music? <laughs> <laughs> he's just, just literally he's just like can you help me fix my car at one start he's like no no, no that wasn't it he uh, he had a sailboat on top of his car and he's like hey can you help me with this sailboat and he's just like you're going sailing with one fucking arm <laughs> and he's just he helped me with the sailboat and some some of them were just like no that's okay and some of them was like yeah I'll help you and then he just like has a fucking crowbar or something and he's like and thumps you on the head <laughs> it's like it's your fault. Yeah. You fucking That's fell what I'm for saying. it. That's what I'm saying. It's just literally like it's something as ridiculous as that. It's just like where's where's your car at? Oh, it's in the woods. Yeah. What what do you drive? A, a fucking Volkswagen Beetle. The only car in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking. Stupid. Well, you drive a Beetle because there's only one. People seat were in it, too tru- People were too trusting. Yeah, they were. it really was. That's that's, that's what I mean. It's gotten better. Well, that's like that that documentary I have. Uh, that's actually really good. It's one of those uh, mm, Sundance ones. It's one of the Sundance ones, but it it's uh, called Girl in the Box. It's a, based off a true story. It was you in the, talked about it before. Yeah, it's in the seventies and eighties, and she was just hitchhiking to California, and she was like nineteen at the time, and she's just hitchhiking to California, and it's this guy and this girl. They see her on the side of the road, and it just so happens they pick her up, and then they make her believe that there's a secret society. That uh, if you don't obey, then they ship you off to fucking uh, I don't know Vietnam or something. Well, I mean, even in that movie, like she would she visited her parents and her parents were like, "Well, she's she seems fine." It was like, "No, she's in a cult." And it was like, "Well, she seems as long as she's healthy." And she came back right. three years later and it's like, right. "Oh hi!" But you can't say anything because he clipped out articles from a newspaper and made her believe right. that it was a goddamn fucking secret society. And it's just like, if you don't obey me and live underneath my bed for four years, you're gonna get taken away to probably a terrible place. Oh great! So I don't get to sleep under the bed and I get to go like to another place that's probably not under a bed. It's just, she had to do dishes for. Four years. That's like when you get a. That's like when you get a. She had to clean the house for four years. I mean, that's like. When, <laughs> that's like when you get like. A it was actually a really terrible thing that happened. To but her. that's that's like when you got a random note in the seventies or whatever, and they just clipped like individual. You know how much of a pain in the ass that would be. Yeah. You had to clip individual letters out and then rescan it. And it was like, oh, this is legit. <laughs> They're all different Seriously. shapes and sizes. Like, you knew somebody, the, the ransom had to be a large amount for somebody to go through all yeah. that trouble to clip out fucking articles. It's just like, the, you have to use, like, the, if one, you're already out 30 bucks because you had to buy 45 different magazines to clip them out of right. to get the right fucking wording. And two, rather S is an hustler. We got to do something else. Yeah, and two, it took you two weeks to even come up with the note. Like you had to prepare the note before you even kidnapped them. Mm-hmm. And, and you gotta like make the right wording and make it seem like you're you don't have a spelling error. And people or don't kidnap people anymore, really. Well, I guess they do, but then they 
get him to like Mexico and shit for like the sex trade or well, whatever. Well, fuck. The weird thing was, so see, uh, the weird thing is. The thing is you don't hear about it. Well, there was a, the. Well, I guess you do because there's like millions of people missing every year. Well, there there was Maybe a kidnapping. There was a kidnapping here. There was a kidnapping here locally. They kidnapped uh, an owner of a business in the 90s. That was in the 90s. That was like, it was like 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. They kidnapped him in the night, like in the mid 90s, and they held him for ransom. And it, they wanted like, I don't know, like a million dollars or some shit like that. And they gave him back. And the dude's worth like hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. But they kidnapped him and they, they had him for like a day. <laughs> and they found him. And it's but just I mean, like, nobody uh, nobody ever kidnaps like an old lady or something. It was just like, my feet hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to CVS to get my prescription. And like shit like that. But it's okay. Let's go to CBS. I need to get some more magazines to make the next note. But who would be like the most annoying person to kidnap? Maybe Cheyenne. No. <laughs> Cheyenne would be so annoying to kidnap. I doubt it. One, one, she would scream and cry and then you couldn't get away with it. <laughs> but if you finally made it out, then you'd have to, then you would have to like, uh, feed her at least three times a day because her, she has low blood sugar. And she's like, I'm getting the shakes. You need to feed me something. <laughs> what do you like? Turkey hot dogs. <laughs> Turkey hot dogs. <laughs> Can of tune it. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need more than that. <laughs> yeah, but you could, I, I, you could thoroughly kidnap my girlfriend if you had a truck full of cannolis. I mean, people still, <laughs> yeah, people still kidnap people, but they don't like hold them for ransom usually anymore. Use like I said, it's just for like most of the time. If somebody, purposes. most of the time, if somebody gets kidnapped. Nowadays, it's sex trafficking, or they're just going to be die- dead in like a day. Well, I mean, like they're going to murder them in like right. a day. Well, speaking of kidnapping, uh, I had a, a new story, but I oh, mean, great, we can talk about it. But it was uh, keep it on subject. <laughs> but did you hear Lady Gaga had her dogs kidnapped or dog napped? No, you didn't. No, I guess there was like a friend of the family or whatever uh, who walks her dogs, and it was like nine thirty at night in L.A. and uh, she had, it was two, there was three of them. Two of them were French, I think they were all French Bulldogs. Maybe, maybe the two were French Bulldogs and one was like a pit bull. And she, the guy ran up to another, to the dog mm-hmm. walker, like a family friend or whatever, shot him in the fucking chest. Oh, Jesus. And took, like legit shot the guy. Shot him. <clears throat> He's fine. Um, but, and then took the two French Bulldogs and she just got him back. He, and, so he must have known that that guy. Oh, she had to know that it was. Exclusively walked her dog. Who just shoots a guy for two French Bulldogs? The fucking rats of the dog world? Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to know that, that was, those were her dogs. Oh, yeah, you have to. I bet that guy is just like, oh, we used to walk my dogs. Fuck you. I was like, I got shot because somebody wanted to kidnap your fucking stupid, your stupid fucking like weird little heavy breathing fucking dogs. Yeah, but people only kidnap shit if you're important. But she ended, she ended up getting them back. But she was like offering like half a million dollars. Who gives a fuck about the dog? What about the guy? He got shot for a French fucking asthmatic dog. Yeah, like that. He got shot for two dogs that fucking wheeze more than they. If anything, but she, she was offering like half a million dollars. Can you imagine kidnapping two French bulldogs? <laughs> You're looking at English bulldogs. French bulldogs aren't really. They're, no, they still do. <laughs> That's all you fuck. <laughs> and then they fucking gotta go to the bathroom, and then nobody wants to cu- catch themselves dead walking a fucking French. Two French bulldogs around. French bulldogs are cute. Taryn has a French bulldog. I know Taryn has a Darren has a cute French a bulldog. Cutie pie. The Darren has a French bulldog. French bulldogs are really not that bad. Like they're really not that bad. But getting shot for two French bulldogs is a whole other fucking thing. That's what I'm mean. like. Take the motherfucker. Don't shoot. That's me. like being a, that's like being a DoorDash delivery person and somebody robs you for your food. Fucking take it, bro. I don't even have it. I'm, this is Taco Bell. <laughs> fucking take it. Like I don't fucking need There's this. There's six skin. burritos in here. You can have them. Like they pull out a knife. It's just like, dude, you can. have have this food like i will just i will just refund their fucking money yeah <laughs> like, like and then they, then they ask what the excuse is and just like i got robbed like there's they no stole this chick-fil-a there's, there's no take reason. it up with jesus not me <laughs> they pull up this fucking rambo pig sticker you're like you can have the popeye's chicken sandwich i don't give sh- i just work here yeah it's literally. not my food like I'll just refund their fucking money. Bro. I waited forty five minutes for it, but I don't I'll give go, a shit. I'll drive three blocks and just go get the order again. You think I want to get stabbed for some asshole? 
<laughs> I want to get stabbed for some fucking some fucking raisin canes chicken fucking fingers. <laughs> oh, you think I want to get stabbed for Little Caesars? Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Five dollar hot and ready my ass. That's how much been sitting there for three fucking hours. This is, this is my third day at Grubhub. I don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I've only been working for Pizza Hut for six goddamn hours. I didn't want to get killed. This is my first delivery of the day. My first goddamn day. <laughs> it's like it's so funny. It's like this is my first day on the job. I'm like motherfucker, you deliver food. Yeah. I was like, I guess technically it's a job. But I guess I mean, that's that's the hard struggle right there. You know what job I want? I want the job that uh, the guy that goes and gets the fucking like bird scooters and the lime scooters. Oh, yeah. I want I want that job. That dude, that person drives around all day in a tr- with a truck and just goes and gets the ones that are dead. Like, the ones that have batteries are dead, they need charged. I think you have to buy them. Because I saw somebody who started a business here locally. They You have to buy it. Like, they bought, like, 20 of them. And then once they they go pick them up, charge them, <clears throat> bring them back at a certain but time. But there's, de- there's definitely a manufacturer that makes them with, like, the yeah. GPS tracking and everything. But you have to buy them from this company. You buy them, and then you take them. You can store them somewhere or whatever. But they have, like, those GPS trackers or whatever. But if you break one, I think it's, like, $300, $400 or something like that. Right. So, like, if you, like, you know, drive it into a lake. (laughs) No, I think people ramp them. Yeah. But it's registered in your name is a thing. Yeah. This one guy that I used to, this one guy that lived next to us uh, at an apartment, he had, he was a student and he drove one around for three months. Because, uh, I don't know if, he had a car and then he didn't have one. For like three months, and then he got another one. But basically, he drove that thing onto campus for like three months, and he just we had those little outdoor outlets on the front porch. He just plugged it in at night, really? and he drove it around for three fucking months. Yeah, huh? Seriously, but sh- but I will say those things fucking dangerous. Surest way to get hit on a sidewalk by a moving vehicle is one of those fucking scooters. Yeah, if kids do not, people do not fucking care. No, they, they, those things are quiet as shit, dude. It's like it's like I almost got the only time I ever have almost gotten hit by a car was a fucking Tesla or no 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 a Prius. I almost got hit by the only time I've ever gotten hit by a car was a Prius because the only thing that saved me was I could hear the tires rolling on the pavement. Couldn't hear shit at, before that. <laughs> like, almost got hit. The only thing I heard was tires. I was like, thank the Lord I heard fucking rubber on gr- on the ground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those things are fucking quiet, dude. Yeah. But uh, let's say, the, the the one thing that is probably the most embarrassing is getting run over by a Prius. Like, I would, that thing would just probably just crumble. Like, I, it would probably cost, a, like, a thousand dollars just to... Six, like you hit this dude with your Prius. I mean, if you if you hit somebody with a Prius, you're, <laughs> you're fucking dead. You got killed by the pussiest car ever. <laughs> hey, they're they're eco friendly, okay? Yeah. I thought about I was looking I was looking at uh like eco friendly cars, and one of the most eco friendly is the uh, it's not electric, but it's the Chevy Spark. It's the little fucking tiny little things, and I not was anymore like, the new uh, Ford Escapes. They get like 45 miles to a gallon now. Really? Because they're half electric. What? The 2020s. Okay. They, don't even, they look like a Mazda CX-5 Well, now. see, the Chevy Sparks, I think, get 38, mm-hmm. 38 or something like that. And they're, I mean, they're fucking tiny. I can fit in one. I've rode one before. But it, it, a, a brand new one was like $12,000. I was like, dude, that's yeah. like a fucking, you could have like, you could have like five of those things. For the price of like a, a really nice, like brand new, like a fucking Jaguar or something like that, you can have like five of those fuckers and you're good. Like you can take those things off with jumps and shit. That's one good thing about the, like the new uh, Ford Escapes. They're 2020s, but they look like they look like Mazda CX fives. So they're more like they look sportier. They look nothing like the old Ford Escapes. Escape. But they're I think they get like between 38 and like 42 or 45 or something like that. Um, but they're half electric. These right, right here? There. This one? Yeah. Why does it look like a fucking Fiat? It looks like a Fiat. No, it doesn't. It looks like a Mazda CX-5. Just different Oh, brand. yeah, you're right. But they're half electric. These are, I'm telling you, car manufacturers are working with, with each other to, like, steal body styles. They always have. They always get ideas from each other. What? Is that a Raptor Escape? <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's not real. No. But you know what else? Because we talked about this before. You know what the most disappointing thing I've ever seen from Ford? The goddamn Bronco. Fuck that thing. You're just like, oh, they showed us pictures of the Bronco. It looks like a full-size Bronco. That son bitch as big as a Jeep Renegade. It looks like a fucking Honda Element. Those things are tiny as shit. They look like little fucking boxes. Well, technically, the Bronco wasn't... 
The Bronco itself, body wise, was pretty big, but I mean, it wasn't like a giant fuck. It was a full size like truck. They had it on an Explorer frame. Yeah, but still, it was a full size SUV. This thing is like it is. It's weird. It's. I was just like, I saw it driving down the road, and I was like, what's that car? And it was like Bronco Sport. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This thing's smaller than my goddamn car. It's ridiculous. I'm super disappointed with that bullshit. So the so the fuel economy of the the it's a it's got a 2.0 uh, liter inline four four cylinder and it's got up to 250 horsepower, but it gets 44 miles per gallon highway and 37 city. No, 44 city, 37 highway. How the fuck does that work? Because when you drive faster, the gas kicks in. Uh, so if you're driving, so it's electric throughout. Like city, and I think, then you get above a certain mile an hour. Right. I think it's once you get above like thirty five or something like that, then it kicks into like gas. But I can see that. That's the thing they have with Priuses too. I can see that. Yeah, I, I just, I just thought the Chevy Sparks. I was like, dude, you could have like four of these fucking things. They're just like little. Why would you want four of them? I don't know. One's punishment enough. <laughs> Big people don't drive Ford Sparks or uh, Chevy Sparks. I did. I, there Big was, people don't drive fucking smart cars either. No, but I did know. But somebody, it doesn't stop anybody. I did know somebody who was bigger than me who drove a Chevy Spark, and it was like you could tell that she, that she was in it. But it's ridiculous. Yeah, look at this. There, here's one right here for fourteen thousand dollars to twenty eighteen. It's a hatchback for sale. For sale. Welcome, welcome to the trading. <laughs> the trading post. <laughs> I got I got some used railroad ties that I'm looking to get rid of for five dollar piece. <laughs> I mean, if you're the, and I got an old license plate that my dad used to have, but he don't have he 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 dead and gone for a few years. Cody, nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, okay, it's an Indiana thing. <laughs> but yeah, I, if you want to like kill yourself in a car, you buy a Chevy Spark. <laughs> hey, this Chevy Spark looks pretty fucking cool. All right, <laughs> I guess. I guess if you put fucking stripes on anything, it looks cool. The Chevy Spark Transformer is four feet tall. <laughs> Jesus. Literally. Like, if you have a Chevy Spark turn into a Transformer, it's the one that gets killed first. It is literally the one that gets killed first. It's going to be like a four foot tall Transformer. It's the one that gets stepped on. Yeah, exactly. It's like if 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 Wizard of Oz, if Wizard of Oz, uh, the Lollipop Gill, were Transformers, it'd just be a bunch of Chevy Sparks running around. That's literally what it, would, what it would be. Smaller than that. No, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, they'd be pretty I, cool. I don't know about that. All right, I got to take a pee break. Pee we're break. back, everybody. And we're back. We are back with a new story. Multiple, I do believe. So, what we have here is a new study just came out, everybody. New study alert. <laughs> so, pizza... Pizza could be a more balanced breakfast than most breakfast cereals. This was a study that was brought to light by dietitian Chelsea Amer, and she states that pizza provides a balance of protein and carbs, unlike sugary cereals. 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 <laughs> uh, so, uh, research has found the sugar makes up more than 35% of the ingredients in commercial brand cereal. A slice of pizza and a bowl of uh, uh, sorry, wait a slice of pizza and a bowl of cereal with whole milk have about the same amount of calories. The protein from the pizza will make you feel full and boost energy throughout the day. However, the sugar from the cereal will just um, create a more of a sugar dump, um, basically, and uh, the pizza contains... That's more all cereal is, is sugar and carbs. There's, unless it's yeah. like whole wheat, then there is really no protein in cereal. But see, when they say... So when they say whole grain, whole wheat, multigrain, whole grain doesn't always mean it's better for you. It just means it was made with like a grain. Like yeah. Like one, one grain, one particular grain, not just like one single like grain. But and then multigrain is like there's multiple there's it's whole wholesome basically, so the the pizza has or how white people say it's white or it's brown bread, people white people don't say white or brown bread. What you want the white or you want the brown? <laughs> you want the yellow or you when they talk about cheese you want the yellow or you want the white? Who Do you not remember that? that? Who, where were we? I think it was high school subway. Maybe it was Subway. Yeah, maybe it was Subway. He's like, can I get cheese? He's like, can I get American? You want yellow or you want white? <laughs> Give me the yellow. 
<laughs> I don't feel pe- I don't think people walk into a subway and it's just like, what kind of bread do you want? White or no? Oh, I want the brown bread. What, what kind of the- fucking brown bread are you talking about? The only brown bread I know of is a uh, rye. Rye's like super There's dark. There's all kinds of brown bread. Pumpernickel's brown. Rye's brown. Wheat bread's brown. Oh no, rye is the one that's like rye swirl, right? It's pumpernickel that's brown. Rye is like swirl. It's all brown. Is it? Yeah, besides white bread. <laughs> anyway, so a slice of pizza also has fat and less sugar, uh, <laughs> which prevents the as much of a sugar dump, basically. Uh, so, of course, there are cereals on the market that are healthier than a slice of pizza, but most uh, most any with a cartoon character on the front of the box falls short of being part of a balanced breakfast. So basically what she's say, saying is it is a more, what what uh, uh, what she's saying is it's more of a balanced breakfast than something like sugary cereal. So she's not saying like, hey, go eat fucking pizza every day. Um, so some cereals have as much as two thirds of the recommended amount of an adult woman, uh, of the amount of sugar that an adult woman should have per day. So Amer says, just keep in mind that while pizza may be lower in sugar and higher in protein than your favorite morning cereal, it can be very high in fat and salt. So, th- so the Comcast isn't suggesting that you go out and eat pizza every day for breakfast. Uh, but there, because there, pizza is better at breakfast anyway. But there's definitely better options in cereal. I, uh, I try to go Don't you eat an apple. <laughs> yeah, eat a fucking apple, damn it. Um, so I try to go with the popular quote as Johnny Depp uh, playing Willy Wonka would say, the cereal is made out of the little wood shavings at the bottom of the pencil sharpener. And that's literally what it is. That's true. But I, she, what she's saying is cartoon characters on the box mean that they're not very good for you. But I disagree because Cheerios lowers your cholesterol. And that I believe that little bee. That little bee is That's a the thing. That's the thing. It's like, hey, if you eat Cheerios... It's just the whole wheat. Whole wheat lowers your cholesterol. And the only reason why it lowers your cholesterol is because it has fiber. Yeah. It has more... Okay, it has more fiber. But cereal doesn't contain a lot of fiber. You want something that has more fiber in your system is better for you because it takes time for your body to process it, which slows down the carbohydrates and sugars from hitting your bloodstream right. and creating that insulin spike. But that's just like... I'm, which in turn lowers your cholesterol. I eat Cheerios, but I put sugar on my Cheerios. Or I eat strawberries, but I got to have sugar on my strawberries. I believe I believe that cholesterol is, it, cholesterol is directly linked to how many insulin spikes you're, you have. Because I believe the cholesterol is brought on by your sugar spikes by ingesting something like that, basically. Um, my go, what's your go-to breakfast? I don't really eat breakfast. I don't. I don't really eat breakfast either. My go-to breakfast is just like some good old-fashioned whole fair trade coffee with some MCT. Or some like um, some ghee or cocoa butter in it. That's my go-to. I don't know if I did eat breakfast, it'd be something. It'd be if I eat breakfast, I want to eat breakfast with a lot of protein in it, just because I get a lot of it in the morning, so I don't have to fuss about it later in the during the day. So like eggs, or maybe like you put some cheese in those eggs, and all that stuff has protein. And I'm not like lactose intolerant or anything like that, so I can still eat dairy. Or, I used like, to eat yogurt. cereal. I we used to eat cereal all the time though when we were kids, but now it's, it's just like it's cheap and it's easy, but nobody eats. Nobody ever eats the cereal. Is fucking expensive now. Well, yeah, but nobody ever eats a recommended dose of cereal. A recommended dose of cereal is like a handful, and everybody's just like, "Is it a cup? It's a cup. It's like half a cup, really." Yeah. Now, like, uh, like Wheaties or something like that, you can probably eat a cup and get away with it. I don't know, but still, like half a cup is three hundred calories, right? And it has like thirty grams of sugar, right? It's like it's like that five dollar Starbucks drink you love so much for breakfast. So the next article. So we're just saying. Four fifty five. The follow up in conclusion. There's a lot better option than cereal. So maybe just try some actual fruit in the morning with some water, and I think you'll be okay. Or yeah. some granola with that's not full of sugar. Maybe make your own. I make my own granola. It's pretty fucking easy and satisfying. And your house smells like a bakery when you're cooking it. So. The next article we have here is a prison hat in Germany has to change 600 locks after an intern shares pictures of the keys on WhatsApp. So this, this, 
What kind of porn is that? Not porn. I work in a prison. Here's the fucking keys. <laughs> so you can just be like, I work in a prison. Here's the keys and show a, a, a picture of like a Kia, a Kia Soul picture of their keys or something. What kind? Of, what do you mean? What kind of porn is that? He didn't say now. Show me your nutsack. Like is, he didn't say that. But it's like it's like porn for babies. You're just like jingling the keys. So look at it. <laughs> so this took place at JVA. Uh, Hinder or Hindering Prison. It's Germany. That makes sense. Uh, they're in like feet and shit. In Berlin's uh, Brandenburg metropolitan region, a man on an internship sent a pic of himself inside the prison to his friends. Uh, in one of the pictures he sent, he is seen holding the skeleton key to all of the cell and passage doors. So there's literally like it's a key that opens up everything. And it's like a set of keys. Because it's like... It's one also, key. Also... Uh-huh. It's one key. And a skeleton key yeah. is a master key. That's what it means. A skeleton key is a master key. And they call it a skeleton key. Because whenever you watch like an, like a 90s movie... and they Oh, always, I know. Is it called they a skeleton have, key? They always have a, <laughs> no, they always have a big iron fucking key. That's yeah. a skeleton key. So... <laughs> uh, and it's Germany. So this place is probably uh, uh, hundreds of years old. So he said that... He sent it uh, uh, through WhatsApp, uh, and because of this, the prison had to change all 600 of its locks in order to prevent uh, the security fr uh, from being jeopardized at the prison, because experts could easily um, replicate that Who wants to break key. into prison? No, it's breaking <laughs> out of prison. What you, expert is in prison? You sm No, it's outside of prison. You hire a guy to commit a crime, and he smuggles a key in his butthole, who makes it into jail, and then everybody gets out. It's like the perfect scheme for let's go to prison. Right. It's like the perfect... That's how it should have ended. Hans in Gruber is not in this jail. <laughs> instead of... Instead of... Instead of... Uh, instead of just, like, injecting fucking pink liquid for like laundry detergent in their fucking system and they die for like a day and then it fucking they wake back up and they're these people are prison. in prison for like being drunk and beating their wives they're not they're not in jail because they're master fucking locksmiths <laughs> no but uh, somebody uh, somebody can replicate with technology you could replicate a picture of a fucking key into a three it's a 3d printer you can fucking just throw their pretty 3d printer it's like hey make me a fucking key yeah, i mean germany is like the like uh, nation. It doesn't matter where the fuck it's at. But like, no, but like German engineering, they're smart people. Yeah. So they could easily do it. They got one in their fucking back pocket. Hey, let me pull out my mobile 3D printer and print out this fucking it's skeleton key for you. But it's only, is, it can only print out stuff that's smaller than a cell phone. But the thing is, it's, but it's weird because who wants to break into prison? You're not breaking into prison. You're going to prison to break people yeah. out. But let me ask you this. What one guy is going to release everybody no, it's just one guy is going to leave. Uh, it's, this should be a movie and Johnny Depp should play him. No, it should be fucking Clint Eastwood because he was in that Alcatraz movie. He's old as shit now. Just fuck it. He is the skeleton key. <laughs> Dirty old German <laughs> bastard. He is the skeleton key. He is the skeleton key. So uh, this could wind up costing the intern tens of thousands of euros. He's uh, a fucking who interns at a damn jail. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's just like I'm at my first day on the job. I'm everybody. working for free. You want to get stabbed for free? <laughs> <laughs> it's a prison. But see that. But see, like shows like Bitch, this. I'm interning. Key, motherfucker. <laughs> but see, here's the key to every fucking here's the key door. to every goddamn door. Here's the <laughs> <laughs> Want to break out of prison? Not today, bitch. I got it. <laughs> Who's his boss? Willie fucking Walker? I don't know. <laughs> it's no, like, it's a if, fucking... you, if you stab an inmate, if you beat an inmate to death, you get the entire prison. No. <laughs> his, his fucking, his boss is the child catcher from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> Lollipops. <laughs> Come Lollipops. Jump. Where are the children? Lollipops. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already convinced that I'm gonna. That's my next. That's my Halloween costume for for this year. Nobody. I'm gonna be that fucking weird dude. You from gotta find the bang bang. You gotta find the nose. If you can't find the nose, then it won't bro, work. they have costume sets like that. Really, they really do. Yeah. So uh, this could cost him tens of thousands of euros in the end. The pics of the key could easily be reproduced by set specialists due to advanced technology. Uh, not only did uh, they need to buy new locks and keys. 
but it took 20 of the facility staff members to install the new security setup, not to mention the cost of having to get the old keys destroyed. Oh, sorry, just throw them in the fucking garbage or something. <laughs> Excuse me, you had to turn on a fire pit and burn the keys. <laughs> My bad. So even though there has been no official update on the outlay, um, experts, or the outcome, experts um, estimate that it would have cost the prison around 50,000 euros. Uh, where, is this, where is this located in Germany? Uh, oh, Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Germany. We do have a few listeners actually in Germany. If you know anything about this, uh, hit us up at thecomecast.gmail.com. Tell us what's actually like behind the scenes shit. Let, let us know if it's like actually. If you're the intern, <laughs> let, <laughs> us, up. Let, us, let us know if it's like actually a big deal or this is just bullshit. <laughs> so you don't have to. No. Please do. We oh, have German yeah. listeners. I want to. How many? Three? Probably. One's probably this intern. No, it's definitely not. He's like, yeah, my favorite podcast is the Comcast, and I'm going to send a picture to this of this key to my WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, you know what the WhatsApp is. Who the... F- <laughs> wow. Who the fuck uses WhatsApp? What people. What is WhatsApp? Just a messenger? It's just a messenger, but, like, people do it to, like, send nudes and shit, because it just, like, immediately erases it. Like Snapchat used to be back in the good old days. Yeah, back in the day when it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> So um, now them dick pics disappear, ladies. So the man's internship was immediately terminated, and he was forbidden from entering the prison. So apparently, he can't. You can't come back. You gotta go to. You gotta go to the next town's prison. You gotta go to the next one. He's like, all I did was take a picture of a key. Yeah, but we don't know what else you're gonna take. Why did they take his phone? <laughs> Why don't you take? You're in a prison. Take the phone away. You can't have like shit in there, right? Because I can fucking gank you with it. <laughs> like, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> You're going to stab me with a square iPhone? I'm just an intern. He has like a damn safety vest on that says intern on it. He's yeah. got this big shit eating grin on his face. Well, what? let's reference 60 Days In. Have you ever watched 60 Days In? No. I haven't either. It's super popular. It's just like, who... I guess it's entertaining to watch people's 60 days of working at a fucking prison. Like a dangerous they prison. There. They're, they're inside. They, there's, no, they sign up for it. There's people who are like, this guy's a cop. And he's he has sent people to this jail. I've seen like previews of it on like Facebook. Uh, and now he's in the or jail, or he's he works signed there. up for this. He signed up for the TV show, and you have to go in and survive sixty days. You can pull yourself out. Are you a prisoner? You or have you to pretend there? to be a prisoner. No, oh. you have to pretend to be a prisoner. And there was one guy who signed up. Uh, somebody told me this. There was one guy who signed up for it, and he was actually in prison for like 10, 15 years or something like that. And he went back. They give you a bunch of money if you can make it sixty days. And he went back, and it was just he was just like, I actually kind of want to stay. He's like, he was like a uh, like a big hit success when he ever he went back. He was like the cool guy, and he's like, I'm thinking about staying in here, man. <laughs> he's like, give me the money, but I'll stay in here. He's like, yeah, how much commissary a million dollars buys? But I don't think it's that much. But he was like, I'm thinking about staying. He's like, I like it in here. Bro, you couldn't pay me a million dollars. It had to be at least $10 million to stay in a jail for fucking 60 days. The, 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 Fuck like, that. It's a prison. But you can't. Fuck that shit. Nobody knows about it. The guards don't know about it. Nobody knows about it. You're just in the prison. Well, I, I'm sure somebody knows about it. But would you rather be. Would you rather be in 60 Days In, or would you rather be one of the kids on fucking Scared Straight? Which one would you rather? Which one's scarier? 60 scared Straight? Because I can't fucking do nothing to no, you. No, I can't do nothing. That, but that's scarier, I'm though? I'm just a troubled youth. You can get No, fucking... what's scarier? 60 Days In or Scared Straight? Nobody's going to stab you on Scared Straight. They might. Who? I don't know. Some fucking big guy. Ain't no big guy going to, like, some big grown-up man in prison going to stab a little kid. They do it all the time. That's why they're in prison. Yeah, but that's what the why, fuck are you talking about? That's why they're like fucking uh, whatever. The, they got the mask and shit like fucking um, Hannibal Lecter. What? And they're in a cage somewhere. This isn't some fucking. This isn't some fucking. You know, Three Musketeers, Iron Mask movie. I would rather shit my pants and cry. Nobody puts a fucking sex rubber mask on because they stabbed a child. I know, Nobody does that. But I would rather shit my pants and cry on like Scared Straight than actually go into a prison and can possibly die because I'm just like, oh fuck, I'm actually not a gang member. <laughs> So, if you okay, yeah. if you were a kid on Beyond Scared Straight, what was, what's like your thing? Like, what what's your thing you're in trouble for? Uh, like, if they ask you, like, what are you in here for? It's just like, I I lie. What do you lie for? Because it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all it is. I don't know. I lie to get I, second. I lie to get second helpings. It's like I steal. What do you steal? 
Bikes. <laughs> Why are you still bikes for? I don't know. <laughs> That's all it is. Yo, That's all their answers. I don't know. You stealing bikes? It looks like you need to ride those bikes. <laughs> you fat Look boy. how big you are. Look how big you are. Why are you stealing bikes for? That's all they do is make them run. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, it's like, come on, we got to do these push-ups. Why? Well, I can't do these push-ups. It's only fucking 10, you piece of shit. What are you talking about? They're kids, Cody. <laughs> Huh? They're kids. Who cares? Some of them little bastards are mean. Fuck yeah, they are. They're like nine years old. It's like, I cuss and I brought like a gun to I school. I cuss and, and I smoke weed yeah. and I, 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 I like, I want to have a baby with my boyfriend and I'm only 12. No, I, what, what was that? Um, it was, I'm pretty sure they canceled that show because it's like child abuse. <laughs> Probably. But their parents signed a waiver, though. Yeah, their parents signed a waiver. But if you were just like, get this motherfucker away from me for like six days. Yeah. And they're not even there all day long. They're there for like legit three days for like four hours. Yeah. Wait, they go home? Yeah, they go home. What? No, they have to stay the night. No, they don't. What? Oh, they do stay one yeah, night. Yeah, they stay. They stay the weekend. That's yeah, the it weekend. They but go it's in. like Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> no, it's it's Friday. You go in on Friday, stay Saturday, and then stay again on Sunday. Or, Stay, you go in and stay Friday night, then you stay Saturday night, then you go home Sunday morning. Yeah, that's not that bad. I guess. It's a weekend warrior, bro. Yeah, but I don't know. It's Would weird. you, okay, is your weekend, if you if you were a weekend warrior, like, for something, what's your weekend like? Would you just go stay out, hang out in a jail for a weekend? You hang out in a nursing home for a weekend? You're not a weekend warrior at a jail. <laughs> they are. No. Yeah, you are. No. Yeah, you are. No. A 10-year-old weekend warrior. He's like, I'm a weekend warrior. Oh, you're in the National Guard? No, I'm a weekend warrior in prison. (laughs) I'm an intern at the prison. I stay there over the weekend. I'm only here for 60 days. (laughs) I get a vacation every weekend. (laughs) I go go to prison. I get three hots and a cot all weekend. I don't have to worry about nothing. Right. (laughs) I sit here and read my book and make fucking weird Play-Doh food. (laughs) Right. I make fucking... Uh, ramen with Slim Jims in it. <laughs> Call it fucking spaghetti. I made, I made hot dogs with those fucking cracker things with the weird cheese in it right. and a fucking Slim Jim. Yeah, it's a mini hot dog. You can make you can make any sandwiches with them crackers. That's rare. I made a I made a black forest cake, but the cherries were fucking olives. <laughs> <laughs> and it took four cups of fucking uh, snack packs to make it. <laughs> I made a black forest cake with olives for cherries, four snack packs, and a fucking instant pancake mix. <laughs> what else could you make like prison shit? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, bro, 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 bro watches this YouTube channel that's like uh, prison food. Yeah, like all he makes prison food. Well, I think I talked about it on here. He made like sweet and sour pork and it was inedible. He <laughs> <laughs> tried to give it away to homeless men. They're like, I ain't eating that shit. And he's like, I can find better shit out of the fucking dumpster. <laughs> and it was like four packs of ramen. And he's like, you wouldn't eat that? I'm like, fuck no. <laughs> I can go to the pizza hut and get some The homeless pizza. man said that? Yeah, he's like, I wouldn't eat that. Why would you make stir or uh, what was it? It was sweet and sour pork. <laughs> Why would you use four packs he put, of ramen? He, he used four packs of ramen, two six of uh, Slim Jims, a pack or two packs of Kool Aid hot sauce, and like the the beef what? the beef packet, and it was like sweet and sour pork. <laughs> but he put he put too much Kool Aid in it. He put too the much pork is a Slim Jim. <laughs> what the fuck? But he he put too much Kool Aid in it, so it just tasted like fucking. Like cherry <laughs> noodles, Kool Aid noodles, like Kool Aid noodles. Uh, that's hilarious. I, it makes sense though. It does make sense. Like you got, you've literally got the fucking like you got the the noodles, the fucking slim jims for the pork or meat substance, whatever. The Kool Aid to make it fucking sweet. But it's just like prison, <laughs> what prison, the fuck? Pr- uh, prison food is like stoner meals. Prison food is like stoner meals and poor meals. Like, they're all in the same category. Like, you're just like, I don't have food, but I got pickles and bread, and you make a pickle sandwich. 
<laughs> I got bologna and I got popcorn and wheat bread. Right. I'm making a bologna popcorn sandwich. Right. I got pop tarts and I got fucking Oreos and I got macaroni and cheese and spreadable spreadable cheese. <laughs> it's like we're making something in this shit. <laughs> I got a pack of graham crackers. A lighter and a, some fucking some some pixie sticks. One Hershey's kiss. <laughs> I ain't got no cherries, so I gotta use all this from a black forest cake. Okay, Cody, you said that three times. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's done. Oh, it was funny. God. <laughs> all right, is that your new story? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, I just got one here. Uh, it's technically not uh, for a fure because um, I didn't really have time to prepare. But we do have just one animal story, and it is podcast approved because it is about a pig. Um, so ty- it's sci- Comcast approved, not podcast approved. Whatever, this podcast approved. So uh, scientists teach pigs to play video games to show their behavioral, mental flexibility. Yeah, bro, that makes sense. What do you think the three little pigs were doing all day while the wolf was trying to blow down their fucking stone house? They ate. And played video games. Right. They were playing fucking God of War. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> they all have German accents. I don't know. Pig, pigs go very well with German accents. I guess. Um, so, let's see. So pigs, 60 days in. Right. So, when researchers at Purdue University trained four pigs to play a simple joystick video game, uh, they were surprised how quickly the animals took off uh, to play the game. What uh, game? Um, I Crossy think, Road. No, it's... Uh, what is... Pong. I think it was Pong. But it was like a, like the very know, like, first fucking video game. It's a pig though, oh. and they were using their they don't oh. you have they don't have hands either, so they're using their fucking noses <laughs> to play like pong. Um, all they use all you do is put a little dab of peanut butter on the fucker, and it'll move around. They were beating the game. Oh. Um, but it was uh, just despite their limited dexterity, you know, pigs. People say pigs are smart, but they were just using their fucking noses. Um, so according to this new study that was published on Thursday, the four pigs showed remarkable uh, behavioral and mental flexibility. The study involved two Yorkshire pigs, Hamlet and Omelette, and two pans. That's just wrong. And, Hamlet. Well, there people always named it like bacon and shit. Uh, and two pan pinto micro pigs, Ebony and Ivory. What's a pan pinto micro pig? I think it's just a breed of micro pig. Oh, okay. Um, but all four were trained to manipulate the joystick with their snout. The game typically used uh, the test to uh, to test the cognitive abilities of non-human primates. Let's say these fuckers are smart. <laughs> right. But it's used What's for... that joystick? <laughs> it's used for non-human primates. So, like, uh, orangutans or monkeys or whatever. Um, so, it required the, the pigs to use their snout to move the cursor... Um, Towards one of four target walls. I, I think it's Pong, judging by that. Um, the pigs demonstrated a uh, conceptual understanding of the game and succeeded beyond pure luck. So they tested them multiple times, and after a while, they ended up getting and getting better and better. Yeah, and better. Pong is Pong is it, it moves. The, it's got a top screen. It's got the top of the screen, the bottom of the screen. You move the bumper, and then it uses the sidewalls to bounce off shit. Right. Um, so the professor here, his uh, what is his, his name is Corny. Uh, he said it's uh, outstanding. Uh, corny. Corny. Not Corky, but Corny. <laughs> his name is his name's literal name is Corny, or it's Crony. My bad. <laughs> okay. This is his last name, Crony. Professor okay. Crony. All right, Professor Corny. Professor Corny and his fucking smart pigs. Crony at the Purdue University uh, and director of Purdue Center for Animal Welfare Science. Uh, so it just showed the pigs uh, to be very intelligent and emotionally sophisticated animals, capable of adapting to new rules during the game, game playing and following. The, the one that the, the one that won threw the controller at him like you're a fucking noob. They all did the good. fuck out of here. Uh, but they all followed the same basic obedience commands given, like you would a dog. Do your homework. <laughs> so they're very smart pigs. Get but, off the game and do your homework. But Five you, more minutes. But can you imagine what these dudes like? They go and be like, "Oh, honey, I'm going, I'm going to work." Be like, "Okay." He was like, "What are you doing today?" I was like, "We're going to teach pigs to play video games." Yeah. And bro. like, you walk in there and they got like they're sitting in a fucking lazy boy and they got headsets on playing fucking uh, GTA Five and they're just like they're like beating a hoe up, <laughs> beating a prostitute up on the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing I picture is like, and we're here just talking on a podcast. But the thing I picture is like the three pigs from Shrek. 
and that they do have yeah. like a German accent. No, they like, do have a German accent. I know, but it's just like, oh, they, however they however they sound. I can't do a German accent. I can't do one either. Yeah, I look. I'll just stay in my lane and do my uh, white trash accent. Right. But the best pig in the world is Babe, and he had some struggles. Yeah. Babe. You think your life is hard? <laughs> he yeah. got lost three fucking times. <laughs> He's he a pig. He almost, <laughs> he almost got eaten for Thanksgiving. Yeah, he had to deal with that stupid asshole no, of a first cat. One, first one, he didn't get lost. He had to deal with that stupid asshole of a cat. Yeah. Uh, hello, you know what the role of a pig is? It's to be eaten. Everybody has a job. The, the farmer has a job. The ducks have a job. I have a job to look beautiful, of course. That's, that's fine. It just shows how much serial killers. That fucking cat is a serial yeah. killer. Well, all cats are like that. Though. Cats are murderers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cats are murderers. But he didn't get lost in the first movie. He got lost in the other two movies. It was Babe lost in the big city and Babe lost in something else. Let's be honest. Babe lost in the big city. Absolute fucking garbage. Compared no, it wasn't. To it was the hotel one. Compared to the first one, garbage. You can't beat the first one, man. The first one's like a drama. He herds sheep. Yeah. And then it's just like, come pig. <laughs> it's just like, all right, let's go. <laughs> I mean, it's a pig. Yeah. yeah. He has a dog and he's just like replaces it for a pig. Yeah, bro. That's the point. Like, oh, why wouldn't, why, why didn't they test it out to see if they could do video games 30 years ago? I mean, when the I movie still, came out. I still say that to my dog. I'm just like, come on, pig. <laughs> he comes running. Hey, part of it. It's like, but that, I saw that movie when I was like eight. Like, come pig. <laughs> come hither <hit the> pig. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is the episode. Thank you for tuning in to uh, another week. Go ahead and close it out. Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, your, it's, your, it's your thing, so. This is my job. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everybody, so much. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for downloading. Uh, remember, tell a friend. Always keep this show alive. Uh, we love you so much. Of course, we couldn't do this show without you. Uh, go follow our shit. Everything is down in the description. Uh, if you want to email us. Come. I mean, we could, but we'd be severely depressed. Right. <laughs> email us at thecomecast.gmail.com. Uh, go follow everybody, every guest that we've had on this show. We've had some some gr- amazing ones, and they're all making moves right now. So, especially getting warmer, COVID, you know, kind of iffy right now. But things are starting to open back up. Uh, you know, Cody Arkin's playing more shows. Jake Rubel's out there on the scene. So, go follow everybody that we've had on this show. And just support local people that, you know, look in your community, which is always good. That's how we keep communities alive. Uh, so, thank you so much, guys. Remember, always wash your hands, wash your motherfucking ass. Let's get out of here. All right, guys, go and get some of the PB and Jams by Abita Brewing Co. <clears throat> I gave it four pig milking buckets. Uh, I'm still gonna work on it. So <laughs> uh, go go and get some today. It's actually really fucking good beer, guys. You will definitely not be misled or dissatisfied. Uh, read a good book. Drink good beer. Everybody, be safe. Have a great week. We will see you next Monday for a great and powerful another episode. And remember, when life gets hard, life gets you down, and that prison food just ain't tasting right. You milk that motherfucking pig, everybody. Peace. We out.